And although many COVID era restrictions are now lifted, travelers are still required to mask up at airports and on planes. Well, the heads of 10 major airlines and cargo carriers say it's time that mandate should end. News 12's Nadia Galindo tells us whether travelers agree. It's another busy day at the Westchester County Airport, and among the luggage and lines, you will find that everyone is masked up. It's so silly. Most travelers we spoke to say it's past time the mandate is lifted. It's time. I have been without the face mask for a few months already, and I feel like I am okay removing it. And the heads of 10 major airlines and cargo carriers agree. They sent this letter to President Biden Wednesday calling on his administration to end the mask mandate at all airports. Signing on to the letter are the CEOs of American, Delta, JetBlue and United, all airlines that operate out of Westchester County Airport. I think it's time that we lift it. It's been lifted pretty much in every other aspect of my community, so I don't know why it's still in force at the airports. The letter also calls for an end to pre-departure testing and vaccination requirements for international travelers, stating much has changed since these measures were imposed and they no longer make sense in the current public health context. <laughs> Pointing to CDC guidance allowing masks to come off indoors and the widespread availability of vaccines. Right now, the mask mandate and international travel requirements are set to end April 18th. Industry leaders hope that date can be moved up. I don't think it's about whether or not it's comfortable or not. I just think that is it necessary given where we are uh, with the virus. COVID positive cases are on a steady decline and things seem to be back to normal. Travelers want the normalcy to spread to airports. In White Plains, Nadia Galindo, News 12. The U.S. Travel Association is also calling for an end to, for the use of avoid travel advisories and travel bans.